Thank you, Stan. The head table. I have a niece who is wild over Penn State. And if I tell her that tonight I sat at the head table with Joe Paterno, she's not going to believe it. <laughs> but I have his autograph, and she has to believe it. All I hear from August till he plays that game at the Orange Bowl is Penn State, Penn State, Penn State all day long. And today, I had never met him. And I always looked forward to the moment that I would. Tonight, I met Joe Paterno. Tonight, I met Chuck Knox. Tonight, I met everybody at the head table. And for an old Pollock coming out of little old Fort City, and when I go home and I tell the rest of those Pollocks <laughs> that I met this crowd tonight, I'm here for Dr. Hughes. I remember one night we called the basket good that never went in. <laughs> I looked at my buddy on the outside. I'm on the inside. I looked at my buddy on the outside and I says, come here. I said, what the hell are you doing? He said, what's the matter? It went in. I said, no, it didn't. I said, and if you turn around, you're going to see something you never saw in your life. Skippy Hughes is standing. He never got up in his life. He never said anything to you. If I was working to say, Indiana, I'm talking Big Ten now. If I was working at Indiana tonight, and a friend of mine would say, where are you next week? I would say where I was working in the Big Ten on Monday, then Tuesday, I'd say that's my day for relaxing. I said, I'm at St. Francis. <laughs> I says, this guy says nothing. Bobby Knight has chased me from one end to the other. <laughs> I purposely went 90 degree angle to make him come around and get me down the other end. <laughs> I tried to get him to step on the court, he hasn't stepped on it yet. I did everything I could possibly do to get him out there. No way. We spent May 5th together, the day I was inducted into the Hall of Fame. He is one beautiful person. The kids who are there from home, all they talk about is Bobby Knight and how nice he is. My wife says, Red, all I want you to do is get that sweater so I can wash it. Because <laughs> he's constantly got it wrapped up halfway up his stomach. But you have to sit him alongside a man like Dr. Hughes and the rest of the basketball coaches. I won't say anything about football. I've taken a hell of a lot of hell out there. I never played it. And I know they used to say to me, Red, what do you know about it? I said, nothing. But I could catch the holders. You put me in there for umpire and I'll catch those holders. By the way, did you get my shirt tonight? the black and white shirt. I, I spotted that early in the evening. I thought I had one missing, and there it is. <laughs> I put everything away. I knew how many shirts I had, how many whistles I had. I loaned a couple. But I never gave any shirts, but there's one of them. <laughs> Nobody will know how much enjoyment I got referee in basketball for men like Dr. Hughes. I couldn't wait for that night to get to St. Francis. 
Did you ever try working the game on the, not the new field house, the old one? It was three steps that way and four steps that way. And you could touch hands across the floor. One day they opened the trap door down the other end and Nick Jacobs disappeared. <laughs> he dropped down in it. I looked down there, he was laying down there. I said, what the hell are you doing down there? Come on up and help me. He said, as soon as I can straighten out. And he was a little on the injured side. I know when I sat there, I said I wasn't going to talk too much, but I had to say something about that man. Calling a basket that never went in, he never said a word, he walked out there, he says, Red, can you tell me what you two are doing? <laughs> I looked at him and I says, Dr. Hughes, if you and I walk toward the bench so I don't have to call a technical, I said, I'll tell you what we're doing. So as we walked back together, I said, as soon as I can get straighten out my chum, I said, everything will be all right. The man I was working with was a terrific official. It didn't go in, he thought it did. There was a lot of big men under that hoop. And Dr. Hughes to this day has never said a word. Thank you very much, Dr. Hughes, you're a real man. Dr. Hughes, would you please come up here and accept this award?